So in previous posts, I've talked about flexibility, mobility, and looking at if we have an anterior tilt or posterior tilt when trying to figure out if we should be stretching or not stretching our hamstrings. Now poses the question, well, are there some mobility exercises that we can do to enhance kind of more of that range of motion in our hamstring muscles? Hey everyone, it's Dr. Heather here, and I am your sports chiropractor who is looking at helping all of my athletes and non-athletes achieve their optimal performance through a host of learning about different exercises, corrective exercises, rehabilitation techniques that you can do to enhance that performance. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna actually talk about some mobility exercises that are gonna focus around the hamstring area. And what that primarily means is we're gonna start looking at addressing kind of our hips a little bit more because the hamstring muscle does attach off our sits bone, which is really kind of right under here, and then goes all the way down you know, and attaches right behind the knee as we're kind of getting down towards that tibia. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at my five mobility exercises designed around your hamstring muscle. Now, a little disclaimer here. If you're not used to doing mobility exercises, I would say don't kind of really do these, you know, on heavy lifting days if you're not quite used to them yet, or if you're experiencing some pain or discomfort, because you do want to understand how they work and how they'll be incorporated into your training program. The other thing is too, this is for my runners out there, this isn't something necessarily you're going to want to do in replace of a dynamic warm-up either. This is something that you would do on your off days when you're training where you want to look at doing some mobility exercises first before you start going into those lower body exercises and then really kind of ending with some nice flexibility. So mobility, just so you guys know, is about creating some more movement but it's not about getting the heart rate up or really getting the muscle warmed into a complete stretch. It's designed around trying to go ahead and lengthen the muscle, create movement around the joint, and then getting some muscle firing patterns going to prep our bodies for the conditioning that we're about to experience. Okay, so again, these are my five on mobility exercises that you can do. They're basic and simple, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start with the first one. So the first one is what we call a Spider-Man. And this is something you would wanna do that's gonna be the length of the room um, or a good decent amount. For purposes of this video, we're gonna demonstrate kind of in our area here. And hopefully my sidekick doesn't give me too many kisses as I do this. So I'm gonna go ahead, quickly kind of pull the hair back. Um, as us women know, hair in our faces is just extremely annoying. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down onto the ground. These first two, really do involve you being in a plank position. So just know if you have some discomfort in your wrists and stuff like that, you may want to find some alternative ways to do it. And if you need help figuring that out, always drop comments down below as I'm happy to kind of give you guys some better ideas on how to go through that. Oh, and if you haven't checked out my myofascial course yet either, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and do that because that's where I really break down the soft tissue and looking at really enhancing our flexibility. So see the link down below for the myofascial course. Okay, so now let's get to the Spider-Man. That's gonna be our first activity. Now what we're gonna do is, like I said, we're gonna come down into our plank position. And as you can see here from a front angle I'm in my plank, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bring my leg out to the side. Now for those that may do yoga, this is very similar to what we call lizard position. So I've got a nice groin stretch going on here, but what's happening with my back leg is I'm really pushing into kind of a nice leg extension, allowing for quad and hamstring to get a full stretch. And then from there, simply like Spider-Man, I'm gonna walk my arms forward and lengthen my body out and then I'm gonna repeat. So for those that want a little bit better angle, we're gonna take it from a side position. So here we go. We're gonna come down into our plank here, place the foot out to the side, walk the hands, stretch it out, come right along, hit that other side, and then walk it out again. So like I said, that's a Spider-Man. The next is gonna be an inchworm. Now, for those of you that have seen some of my previous videos, know I really don't have good flexibility in my hamstring muscles. 
So some may have more range of motion when doing this. Totally normal, totally fine. But just know that mine is actually gonna be a little bit less than probably normal. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down very similar to the Spider-Man. You're gonna look at doing it the length of the room. We're gonna come down. We're gonna come down, like I said, and we're gonna go ahead and hit that plank position. So here I am in my plank, and as I'm gonna cross the room, I'm gonna go ahead and inch my feet in towards my hands, walk my hands out, and inch my feet back in, and walk my hands out. Now, for those of you that are a little bit on the taller side, you will achieve this a little bit faster than us shorter people. So that's the first two, Spider-Man and Inchworm. Great, two, two great mobility exercises that you can do to kind of get you set for some leg workouts. Now, the next one actually involves a wall. So what's gonna happen is now, I'm gonna place my feet up against the wall. <clears throat> actually, I should say, probably more of my small of my back up against the wall. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna try to touch my toes. Now, if you can't touch your toes without bending the knees, that's okay. So, like I said, you know, I have very poor flexibility in my own hamstrings. So as I come down and I get to that point where I can feel kind of the stretch in my low back, start to feel the stretch in my hamstrings, from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bend my knees and I'm gonna go ahead, walk my hands out. And then what I'm gonna try to do is go ahead and walk my hands back and try and keep my legs nice and straight and get myself back up that wall. So again, if you have poor flexibility in hamstrings, bring your feet a little further forward, press the small of the back in, go ahead, come down, try to get that range of motion going, walk those hands out onto the floor, and then come on back and get yourself back up. So that's exercise number three for mobility work in the hamstring muscle. The next one we're gonna do is involving a little bit more with T-spine mobility. So we're gonna come down onto the ground and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna place our front leg in front just like so. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up onto our back leg. So again, this is kind of just like that lizard position we were in earlier when we did the Spider-Man. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bring my arm up and I'm gonna open up my spine so I'm getting thoracic mobility going, that's my mid back, but I'm also getting a big stretch into kind of my lumbars, into my pelvis, and all the way through. So from here, I come back in, and then I'm gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna open it all the way up, and I'm also getting a nice stretch in that hamstring muscle on that right side. So again, that's another exercise that you can do. The very last one that we're gonna do involves a strap. So now, I've gone ahead and taken the strap and placed it over my right foot. I'm gonna first do a couple of things. One, I'm gonna lay back on a firm surface and I'm gonna go ahead and just simply bend my opposite leg. Now from here, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some tension. Now the reason why I'm gonna keep my opposite leg bent is to really ensure that my pelvis stays nice and flat on the floor. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just simply stretch my hamstring muscle in this position. What I would try to do as well is go ahead and pull those toes towards you, get that real nice stretch going and getting that calf stretch as well. If you can, turn the foot in slightly so you can also get a little bit of the perineals on the outside and you can also start to get a little bit deeper stretch in that calf into that hamstring. Then bring that foot back to neutral. Now from here, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna extend the leg out. So that's my left leg. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place my left hand on the floor and I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna take that leg and I'm gonna bring it out to the side, okay? And just as I do so, notice that I keep my shoulder blades on the floor. I also keep my pelvis on the floor. I'm not rotating or lifting up. I'm just holding here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back to center and I'm gonna to try to go ahead and now bring that leg a little closer to me, 
keeping that knee nice and straight. And then what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead, switch directions, and I'm gonna take the leg across my body. So now I'm gonna place my right hand on the floor and I'm gonna come across the body. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and stretch out my hamstring and I'm gonna stretch out my calf. So there you have it. There are five mobility exercises that you can do involving kind of stretching out and getting more range of motion into the hamstring muscles before you actually start to do some lifting or after your runs, you're still starting to feel a little tight. This is something you could do prior to getting into more flexibility exercises. Like I said, for more information on kind of how to break down the tissue, how to gain some more flexibility, check out my online course on myofascial release where we take a closer look at going from head to toe. Now, if you found some value in this video, always give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and do so today. All right, everyone, I'll see you in the next video.